Hi, this is Nick from Candleweld coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. I uh, wanted to make a real quick video for you guys today to talk about the two different type of arc welding electro holders that we have available with our products. So this right here is the American paddle style electrode holder. Uh, these have the European ends and they have a 12 foot whip on them. Uh, they're nice and light, they're easy to use. They're stiff enough to hold the electrode tightly, but not so stiff that it's murder on your hand every time you're trying to change it. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but if I open this up, you can see inside these jaws, there's a groove that goes straight, there's a groove that goes up at a 45, and a groove that goes down at a 45. And they actually make an X on the inside. So whether you're left or right-handed, you can put in the electrode like this, or you can have it up or down, you know, whatever's comfortable for whatever position you need to be doing at the time. Took me a bit of getting used to these, but uh, now that I've used them for a while, I actually like them a lot. There's a lot of freedom with them, and it's easy to rotate your hand around something. Uh, I know for guys doing pipe welding out there that this is, you know, this is the preferred whip for them. So you might be wondering what the difference is between this slightly larger one. This is the 400 amp model that comes with our larger machines. Essentially, it's exactly the same. Uh, this one's a little stiffer because it's brand new. I haven't had a chance to play with it much, but it's got that same X cut into the copper so you can put the electrode in whatever uh, configuration you need it to be. Um, if you were putting this onto a brand new cable, it's simply a matter of undoing this large screw under here and you basically slide out your piece of cable slide in a new one with the stripped end, tighten it up, and then you're ready to start welding again. So they're really easy to work with and uh, they're really durable. I know the camera's not picking it up, but the plastic on these isn't that brittle type of plastic. I'm not sure what they're made of, but they're tough. They're real tough. Uh, I was up on a ladder about 15 feet about a month and a half ago, and uh, I was using one of these with a whip extension, and uh, I dropped it and it landed on the concrete deck, and I thought for sure that was gonna be it for my electrode holder got down and uh, I had a pretty good scuff in the side of it but all in all it was completely fine and it continued to work and I'm still using it today. So uh, these are a nice robust piece of equipment. It might not be what you typically see around here in Canada but give these a chance. I like them a lot and once you get used to them they're pretty awesome and they're very well made. So thanks a lot for watching this quick video today guys. Um, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and if you like what you see go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Thanks a lot for watching.